Hey friends, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Oso Farm. My name is Brandy. If you are new here, today we have a really fun video for you. We are making my daughter Evelyn's care package for Christmas and we are going to get it in the mail so that she has it for the week prior to her coming home after finals. <music> So I am in my bedroom filming this video. I had wanted to film this and had was prepared to film this for the last week or two, but we are in the middle of another home remodel process. We are painting our entire house. So I really wanted to do this. I thought it would be fun in front of the Christmas tree, <laughs> but all of my furniture is piled into the center of my living room and dining room in every single room. And we're currently in my bedroom, which has been the collection of all things Christmas coming in the mail. So our entire house is in complete chaos. So I need to get this out in the mail. So we are just gonna go with it and do it here in my bedroom. Anything that I can link, I will link, although I don't know if there will be that much to do. Maybe it'll just be an idea or just spur you to send a care package in the next couple days. So I did buy a big package of these mailing boxes on Amazon. I can link that and I think that is great to have a big stack here if you plan to do care packages throughout the year because then you can pack it at home and it kind of prevents you from just holding on to this stuff. I've done that in the past and letting it per, you know, just kind of prolong. So I will link these. I think it was a pack of 20. And then I just stocked up on some packing tape. So I'm just gonna seal. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing in this box that is too heavy. But I'm just gonna seal all four edges just in case. Okay. So those are sealed. And then we are gonna wrap the outer four corners with this Buddy the Elf paper. I'm pretty sure I bought this at either Target or Michaels on Black Friday, I can't remember. because I bought quite a bit of wrapping paper at multiple stores. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna cut some big strips. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna put some tissue paper in the bottom. And then I bought a few things. This is her finals week that I know she loves. So she's on a meal plan, but she can bring milk and stuff back to her dorm room. And she they love this cereal. This is from Aldi. It's the Vitality with the fruit and little yogurt clusters, so I bought her that. I thought that would be a fun change from just the regular breakfast she gets at the dorm. And then these are her favorite Pop-Tarts. This is a snack. Um, this is also from Aldi. It's their brand. She loves these, so I put those in there. And then I thought this was fun. <laughs> just if she wants to be Cute and silly and festive. Um, I got this at Target, I think, at the dollar spot. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, but that's just a fun little festive treat. These are also from Aldi. These are Hazelnut Crunch Smooth and Creamy European Chocolate Bars. There's one, two, three, four, five. I thought that was really fancy. And that also is from Aldi. So this is one of our Christmas mugs from our house, and I know Evelyn will recognize it. So I thought that I would just include this in here, and then when she is having her special hot chocolates or coffee while she's studying hard for finals, she can just remember home. So I'm gonna wrap this up since it's glass. Pretty good. So 
there have been some comments in my grocery haul videos. I had talked about how I've had a hard, I haven't had a hard time finding tissue paper. I've been able to find a lot of the tissue paper that is, you know, like a pack of 16 or a pack of 20, and I've bought a lot of that, but I've been looking for like the large pack at Costco and Sam's and haven't been able to find it. So next year, when I see it, I'm gonna grab a bunch. Try to pack this in here, kind of in the center. Okay, and then to go with that mug, these were from a pack at Sam's. I got all four, one of all four flavors. This is the Lando Lakes Cocoa Classics. They are so good. This is mint chocolate. This, I haven't tried this one, Chocolate Supreme. French Vanilla, where I have one of my sons, uh, he will remain nameless, <laughs> does not like chocolate, like does not like chocolate. It's so bizarre, but he will eat white chocolate. So this is actually fun for him because when we're all having hot chocolate, he usually has hot tea, but this will be fun. He can have some hot chocolate. And then this one is amazing, this salted caramel. So these... They had these in stock at my Sam's quite a bit. I bought one, they were $9.99 for I think a pack of 34. And then I saw them at our local HEB, which is just our local Texas grocery store, and they were 57 cents a packet. So then after I tasted them and thought, these are so delicious, I went back to add two boxes to my Sam's.com order and they're sold out online. So I don't know if this is worth a drive special for me to just go pick these up. But if I could get them online, I would definitely pack these away for the winter because this is so, so yummy. Highly recommend. I bought this Beat Sync Sound Responsive String Lights, four light modes, multicolor, indoor, outdoor, for $5.98 at Walmart. This was in the Christmas tree light aisle, but I thought this would be fun. She can string this throughout her somewhere in her dorm and then she can use it also when it's not Christmas time. So I thought that was really fun. And I'm probably gonna wrap this quick so she has something to unwrap. Where did my wrapping paper go? Do y'all do this when you're wrapping presents where you constantly can't find the tape or the scissors or your marker? It makes me nuts. Yesterday I was wrapping for a long time and I put the Sharpie in my back pocket because I spent so much time searching for it, which seems so silly. Leave me a comment and tell me below, are y'all people that wrap every little thing or like even down to the stocking stuffers? My mom was that way, even if it was a piece of candy that she purchased and it was in your stocking. See, here I am looking for the tape. Here it is. She would wrap it, which really was fun. It kind of prolonged the joy of opening all the gifts. But now that I'm a mom, I'm like, I wrap every present and a few things in their stocking. But if it's candy, girl, I'm just throwing it in. So let me know what you do. I know some people leave, like wrap gifts from mom and dad and leave gifts from Santa unwrapped. So tell me what your traditions are with wrapping. Okay, so that'll be fun for her to have a little thing to unwrap. Her box is filling up. And this, do y'all like the Elf movie? I know some people love it and some people hate it. I absolutely love it. Just thinking about it makes me laugh. So I tried to get Evan, he loves all that physical humor and stuff. I tried to get him to watch it last year and he was not interested. So this year I'm hoping we have, we will grow into that. Okay, so lastly, outside of some candy canes, I'm gonna go grab and throw in here. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This was 50% off. I think it was $14.99. So I got it for about seven something. Um, but it lights up. Why are there two? Maybe there's different modes. It has two little switches, but it lights up. So, so pretty. And then 
I thought she'd probably leave this on all the time because it's so cute. It's ceramic. This reminds me of one we had in my grandmother's house. So pretty. Very vintage. Um, so I opened this up to see what batteries it was because I know she does not stock batteries at her dorm room. And it was double A. So I'm putting two extra batteries in here because how sad if your Christmas tree lights go out and you can't relight them. So I'm going to wrap this one up really good. It seems pretty dainty and fragile. I may have some cold please. I'm going to find, I guess I better turn it off. Find something to protect it. Okay, I have a ton of boxes from presents coming in and I knew I'd have, this might be a little much, but these have the, let's pull off a few of these. Though it won't look as cute, I'd rather it be protected. That's so funny, that's Evelyn calling. So I told her I'd call her later. We'll get this done and packed. Oh, that should help. Although now I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space. Let me undo one of these. That definitely will protect it, I think. I'm gonna wrap it in this tissue first, though. Just for an extra. I'm gonna move this and put this right here in the center. See if we can close it now. Okay, so our box is full. I don't think I'm gonna add the candy canes because I'm gonna have to go find where those are and I really wanna get this out. But okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna. Box this up now. Okay, it's done. It's not too, too heavy. When I take my son Eli to work, there's a post office, not a post office, a little mail stop really close to that. So I'm gonna get this in the mail today and hopefully since it's Friday, she'll get this by Monday or Tuesday and then we pick her up on Friday afternoon for her Christmas break. So that'll be a fun little treat for her to get right in the middle of her hard, stressful finals week. So we have a couple of really exciting videos that are exciting to me at least. I think it'll be fun for us to look back on those videos too. We are gonna film one on our Christmas traditions where we do quite a bit of really fun stuff over the holidays. So I wanna wait until my room is put back together and do that one in front of the Christmas tree. So I'm excited to share with y'all our family traditions. And then I wanna do a Christmas house tour. I didn't use everything that I have for Christmas decorating this year, but I did quite a bit. So I wanna show y'all that and how pretty our house looks decorated for Christmas. And um, then we wanna do an update on kind of our little homestead and tell you our chicken coop is being delivered this weekend. It is huge and beautiful. So we have a lot of really fun things going on at Oso Farm. I did wanna mention to y'all that our Ezra's birthday is this week. He would have been turning nine. And so I know y'all have been so supportive and so sweet of our family. So we would really appreciate your prayers as we kind of walk through this first birthday without him. Sorry. And the holidays. We did a program, I mentioned it in one of our grief videos called Grief Share and we just did an extra one specific to the holidays. It's called Surviving the Holidays, and it was really helpful to just hear how other people had ideas on how, you know, to get through certain things. And so if you are missing a loved one this holiday season, we would love to pray for you and um, kind of just share in that journey with you. So you could leave a comment or email us, and we would love to just come alongside you and pray just for God's peace and comfort to surround us. So Merry Christmas. We hope y'all are enjoying this holiday season and we will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate each and every one of you. So Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.